Do not uh, strip anything out. Alright, now once you've done that, uh, everything should be appearing very, very nice and perfect and fine. It should look like an overall nice piece. Now there's one thing that uh, you don't need to do this, but um, the lower plate does not fit this. Um, there's one of two things you can do. If you have a Dremel yourself, you can actually Dremel these down. Yeah, so you guys can see. You can uh, Dremel that down. So you can, well, that little difference in the, you'll, you'll know what I mean when you take off your plate, but there's a, because I've already done it, I've I actually cut it off my plate, so it's it's fairly flush. But one of the two, you can either cut off the extenders on this plate, or you can Dremel down. And uh, I decided to cut it off. But one thing that if you want to do, because of course we can't uh, get replacements of these, you can send it in and we will cut it for you as long as you uh, pay for shipping and then also include the amount of shipping to return shipping. So example if it costs $1.59, um, send $1.75 with it just, just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to put this bottom plate on. And then also one thing to note too is uh, if you do do this modification, uh, Oops, have it on backwards here. Uh, if you do do this modification, it's going to be very hard to undo it. So, you know, by uh, gluing the pieces back on. So, just be sure that you want to do it. But we do offer that service free of charge. So. Gonna go off camera here so I can hold it to me. It's a little bit easier to screw in. All right, now once that is done. Uh, we're going to assemble it back to the upper assembly. And for that, you just want to make sure it's pushed so much back. You're going to slide it in there, push it forward, and then you're going to reinstall your pin. You can actually do this in a little bit different of an order if you want. Um, I'm going to install this one pin first. Just because how I have that mine set up for my wrenches. Whoops. <sighs> Make sure you do not drop your screws. Sorry about that everybody, taking a little bit longer, dropped the little screw head, so, or the, uh, for your GSG-5 screw, the uh, top part, so, took me a couple seconds to find that on the floor. Then one thing you will notice, uh, it kind of goes in there. Oh, sorry, that front screw kind of goes in there a little bit more, but on the other side, it, on the other side, it's still on the same. Um, and then we're going to reinstall this uh, on the rear part. And then again, for uh, we gotta swap this out. But uh, for those, 
that aren't familiar with it, the, this part does come with your uh, GSG-5, it's not a, a standard Allen wrench. It comes with your GSG-5. Just tighten that in there. All right. And as you can see, uh, th there's just a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, that is very, very, very normal. Uh, and the reason is because of the GSG-5 stock, there's more of that little pad right there, and that slides in with the receiver, and that's why there's no wiggle at all on that. So you will notice that. But, after you put your stock on, It fits fine. There's no wiggle whatsoever. And it makes for one mean machine. And uh, as you can see, I'm just holding it with one hand in here, wiggling it. Um, doesn't move at all. The brick's solid. And then again, the only re reason that uh, when you aren't putting it on, it wiggles just a little bit is because there's not that little groove there. But once you have your stock on or stock cap, whether it's retractable, folding, or anything, it works and fits fine. All right, and then uh, one thing we're going to do real quick here is a uh, function test again. We did a function. Make sure you do do a function test again uh, when you have it here assembled. Uh, but we're going to do another function test. Make sure your gun is unloaded. You can see it's it's unloaded. Actually, I'm going to put this back in not to uh, damage the firing hammer at all. Insert a magazine. Have it on fire. Alright, I'm going to do one more. And then i got to take the magazine out. Pock it back. Oh. You know, you got to love these mag clamps. Because, uh... Sometimes the magazines want to get in the way, so, yeah, it's that simple. Uh, it's pretty simple to work. It's uh, very nice, very easy. Um, and, again, that is the same for both the SEF and the Navy lowers. And there's not much of a resistance at all on these. On the ICS, there is a lot of resistance because this outer grooving. I'll zoom on that some. On the outer grooving, on the ICS style, they're much higher, so you actually need to trim it down. And also, as you can see, uh, it goes much more inside, except on the lower part here for fire. That's where it catches. But as you can also see, there's parts to catch it, so it doesn't overdo it. Um, but yeah, it works fine, works great. Uh, overall, it's a great piece. Oh, sorry, I gotta zoom here. Overall, it's a great piece for anyone to have. Um, yeah, whether you get uh, the SEF or the Navy lowers, it's a very nice, simple installation, and it works great. And yeah, that is all for this video. If you guys have any other GSG style uh, questions or anything like that, just feel free to shoot us a question. We'll try to get something out as soon as possible. And once again, this is Joe Kulos from Nil Arms. Uh, take care.